guys. So welcome back to my very, very bad cooking show that should <laughs> never be reproduced ever under any circumstances. So in today's episode, you guys wanted to know if you could deep fry food in engine oil. So since I'm here to provide, that's what you're going to get. So I have two separate deep fryers. This one is filled with peanut oil. And then this one will be filled with engine oil. And our engine oil of choice will be, oh, I didn't realize that this was a Ford oil. So hopefully it doesn't break the deep fryer because we all know that's all Fords are good for is breaking down. Anyway, it is a 5W30 synthetic blend engine oil. I went with synthetic, a synthetic blend, because I figured that it would have less cholesterol than a conventional engine oil, but we'll see. I didn't realize it was, was going to take that little. So not even... Not even a full quart. Next, we will start mixing up our batter. Aunt Jemima uh, pancake mix. Uh, we'll, let's go about, uh, go about that much. That's pretty good. See if I can get the amount of water right on the first try. I feel like that's pretty good. That's thicker than normal. Thicker than you'd normally have it for like pancakes, but we want it to be a little thicker because we want it to stick to our items. So, first item that we're gonna be going with is Oreos. I figured this would be a pretty good test. I mean, I need to make sure I keep, keep all this stuff organized. So I'm going to keep all of the peanut oil stuff on the right and all the engine oil stuff on the left. I just got to wait for this, for this deep fryer to get up to temperature. I think this, I don't know. I think this might work because whenever you look at, whenever you compare the two as far as the oil goes, they, I mean, the peanut oil looks a little bit thinner, but the engine oil doesn't look far behind it. I think this could work. Oh, it's only 222 degrees. Uh, it'll get there eventually. All right, so our engine oil is now up to temperature. And as you can see, it is, I don't know if it's, that's smoking, steaming, whatever you want to call it. And it smell, it smells really bad. It's steaming up the whole, the whole place. And it smell. it just smells like a, it smells like the inside of an engine. So I'm gonna lower both these baskets. But as far as the, like the viscosity, they both seem to be pretty much the same. I'm really curious to see what happens when we drop these Oreos in there. Drop them in the batter, and we're gonna leave these in here, not in the batter, in the deep fryer, for about one to two minutes. I think that's what we're supposed to do. All right, side there. Inside there, oh. That's not normal. That's almost kind of working. Huh. Roll that around a little bit. I need to be careful not to mix these spoons up. <laughs> Stick one in the, in the wrong one. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's flip that over. The engine oil seems to be cooking much faster. Yeah, I feel like this one's about to burn. Put that, <laughs> that there. Scoop this one out of here. I'm, I'm curious as to why the engine oil foamed up like that because that was kind of that was kind of strange. But as far as the quality, obviously, you know, you can't eat the one that came out of the engine oil. But as far as the fry quality, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it's that bad. Obviously, it looks like the one that was in the engine oil. You can tell that it's ooh. Now oh, that's a little weird. All right, so let's cut it open. Very crunchy. Once you cut it open and you get the Oreo smell, that honestly doesn't smell horrible. I mean, it doesn't smell like you know anything that I'd be just dying to eat, but let's cut this one open. Mmm. Not as crunchy, but obviously edible. So the insides, Hmm. The insides seem to look about the same. If you could, if there's a way to combine these, have this type of crunch, but obviously have it edible, that would be really nice. So far, can you deep fry Oreos in engine oil? Yeah. I mean, the insides look good. It's crunchy. It looks a little weird because it's engine oil. I think the quality of the fry is probably honestly a little bit better than the than the one with peanut oil, because this one's all 
you know, all kind of, you know, squishy, but this one is all crunchy. And that's what you'd expect out of a deep fry. Our next thing is going to be another classic deep fried item. Since the Oreo made this foam up almost like it was going to overflow, I'm kind of worried that this one's going to make it overflow. But our next item is going to be a Twinkie. Bring this batter back over here. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to just do half of a Twinkie, half a Twinkie for each one, because I'm really nervous about this thing overflowing. Get these things all nice and covered. And you know what? I want to try something. So the, they're both 375. The engine oil seems like it's like it's a little too hot. So let's turn it. I'm gonna get down to 320. Let's see if that makes a difference. Come on. All right. Let's get this one. Wow! I want this stuff to stick. Well, there it goes, filling up again. Oh, jeez, <laughs> that one's violent. It's also like spitting up, like you know, like a volcano it's spitting oil everywhere. Look at that! It almost looks like it's already almost done already. Oh, let's uh, turn this thing around. Come on, man! Wow, that actually looks. Pretty good, to be honest. This one looks like it's gonna take a good while. This looks like it's pretty much burnt, almost. Let's let that dry out for a minute. So, so far, the engine oil clearly cooks faster, and it's, all, it's, it's also very smoky. Because it's, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it's, it's smoking up the garage. Wow. <laughs> this thing is really starting to stink. <clears throat> it's starting to stink bad. Put the lid down or something. Don't don't deep fry with engine oil. This is, this is not a good idea. All right, well, let's go ahead and put this to the side. All right, so let's cut them open. With the little knife. Is it going to be crunchy? Oh, look at that. Oh, that actually looks looks good. That's not bad at all. It's nice and crunchy. It's got the cream filling running out of it. If that wasn't in engine oil and it didn't smell so bad, that would actually probably taste pretty good. Check this one. Hmm, not as much of a crunch. Not, yeah, not nearly as much of a crunch. Huh, the cream's not even hardly running out of that one. So this one, and it's still, it's all like soft and like, not like it's, it doesn't even feel like it's fried. Like this one, nice and crunchy. This one's just all it's like soft and soggy. So, <laughs> as, as weird as it is, the engine, the engine oil does make a pretty good fry oil. Other than the fact that it stinks and it's not edible, but the quality of the fry really isn't that bad. So <laughs> let's move on to the next item. All right, <clears throat> now for the last item, I'm gonna try to make this one quick because I don't know if you can see it, but the smoke is getting pretty bad. For the last item, fresh fries. Another staple of deep fried goodness. All right, so I'm just gonna reach in. I'll put about that much in there. I'll lower them into the fry oil at the same time. Ooh. That's about good. All right. Three, two, one. That sounds pretty bad. I'm curious to see how what this will do because, oh, that's... That's no good. Like I said, I'm kind of curious because the one with the engine oil cooked everything really fast. It's going to overflow, so that's going to do. It seemed to cook everything really fast, but it also had batter on it. These don't have batter. But it seems like it just was going to want to overflow, which is no good because I don't need that in my life. 
Awesome. <laughs> I should have looked how long you're supposed to leave them in there. Three to seven minutes. Let's see what we got. Oh, they're starting to get a little, starting to get a little brown and crispy. What are these? These are a little more brown and crispy. Literally, every, even on a lower temperature, everything cooks faster in the engine oil. I don't fully understand that. It smells, <laughs> it smells too bad in here to let these go on any further. Actually, they're looking pretty, looking pretty done, if you ask me. Let's, the, again, the fries in the engine oil. Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, that's very close. That crunch. Mmm. These look more. These look more like a golden brown. But like I said earlier, that could have something to do with just the color of the engine oil, where it's a darker oil, because they were in there at the same time, and they both feel like they're cooked the same. I guess I could taste them, but I'm not going to. Out of every, out of all the tests, these are probably pretty equal, other than the color. If the color was the exact same, and the if the smell was the exact same, I, if you just felt them, I don't think you'd be able to feel the difference. Looks like you can deep fry food in engine oil. So I'm gonna get out of here before it's before I die from all the smoke. All right, so I have the, I got the garage all aired out, and got all the nasty oil smell out of here. That part of the video is over. As far as deep frying things in engine oil, we're not doing that anymore. The, uh, the conclusion to that, yes, you can deep fry things in engine oil, and it actually doesn't turn out that bad. As far as the quality of the fry, it's actually pretty decent, at least a lot better than you would think it would be. So now I'm gonna move on to the second part, which is purely for you guys, because in my video where I ate all the all the pickle things and I ex expressed my hatred for pickles even further than I already have, a lot of people said that I needed to try deep fried pickles. So I have a deep fryer, so here we are. So I'm gonna be using some hamburger dill chips. So I have a bowl of flour, bowl of egg, and then of course the pancake batter. Whenever I was looking up like a recipe to like do this, I saw both of them. Some people said use pancake batter, some people said use eggs and flour. So I guess I'm gonna do one of each and tell you how disgusting each one of them is. Take the pickles out. You're supposed to dry them off, get all the juice off of them. Let's do the eggs and the flour first. I don't think, no matter what, Whatever you do to a pickle, deep fry it, whatever. I just feel like it's gonna be gross all the time, no matter what. All right, so in you go. It even makes this thing stink like a pickle. That doesn't look good at all. Let's dip this one in the pancake batter. Put that in there. Ooh, that one sunk straight to the bottom. Ooh, it doesn't get stuck to the bottom. That kind of suck. So we're not stuck to the bottom anymore. Let's flip that over. Neither one of those look very good. I don't. I don't understand why the one that I put in the flour and egg. Why is it not getting brown? That kind of concerns me. I feel like I might be doing something wrong. All right, let's take this one out. Yeah, this one's all golden brown. So that looks like it's done. This one doesn't look <laughs> doesn't look that good at all. I'm gonna let these cool, and then I'll give them a give them a taste test. All right, I'm gonna try the one that was in the egg and the flour first. That <coughs> that's worse than a regular pickle. <coughs> this is like warm, soggy, oily pickle. Let's try this one. The one that was in the pancake batter is not as bad as the one that was in the eggs and the flour. But the reason is <laughs> because the one that was in the pancake batter tastes less like pickle because the flavor is being covered up 
buy the pancake batter. Both of those are gross. Still every type of pickle is gross, even deep fried pickles. So yet again, that proves that every single thing that has anything to do with pickles is gross. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. All right, just one more thing for all you pickle lovers out there, something that I just discovered, you know, since I have all the ingredients here, I do still hate pickles, but I found that if you take an Oreo and you put a pickle on the Oreo, it's not too bad.